uh, uh, good afternoon, dear visitors. So this is question from Collab AI, uh, uh, US. Yes. So today my topic is uh, binocular intelligence in points alignment for primitive skills learning. Okay, so let's start. Uh, so first, uh, uh, nowadays the combination of robotic manipulation with AI to realize a series of uh, robotic skills such as insertion and uh, uh, peak is not a complete, completely fresh topic. But uh, however, many of the previous uh, research has the limitations. So for example, some requires the accurate tuning of the uh, eye hand calibration and some is required, uh, is equipped with the uh, complex and uh, expensive infrastructure. And uh, some also deal with the uh, uh, different tasks uh, with different methods, so which is uh, kind of sophisticated. Uh, so in light of this, our research aim is to uh, develop the capability to perform a series of robotic skills, such as insert, uh, screw, pick, and place with simple infrastructure and minimum the eye hand calibration. So in this work, only two rough RGB cameras applied in the infrastructure. Okay, so as you can see, uh, the setup of our work is quite simple. That only relies on two rough RGB camera that mounted on the robot arm like human eyes. Um, here are the pictures of the setup for four types of uh, robotics tests, insert, pick, and screw and place. And uh, this is the uh, camera view for the insert task and screw task through the two rough RGB camera. Yes. Uh, next uh, is about our method and approach. So uh, some research regard different robot skills as individuals and deal with them one by one. But uh, in this work, uh, from the intimate relationship of in of all these tasks, the core action of the uh, tasks are alignment. So in this vein, we treat all four actions as point alignment tasks, and uh, they can be realized in a similar way. And uh, in the three D Cartesian uh, space, the point alignment tasks are defined as left side. So the PA uh, is defined as the controllable point that is uh, con uh, that can be controlled to move. Uh, and the PB is the target point. Uh, our task is try to move the PA to align with the PB. And the target uh, vector edge is the uh, goal in our work. As long as the PA PB is parallel with the target vector, we consider the alignment is done. So for all the tasks, the agent should control the PA to align the two point PB and PA in a 3D Cartesian space and then realize the tasks. And uh, here is about our... Uh, so here is about our architectures. So first the camera will detect the, the text relevant object such as the screwdriver head and the, the bolt head in this picture, as you can see, and uh, through a pre-trained YOLO. And once the controllable point and target point will be given by YOLO, uh, we will do the auto self-calibration action. So this, uh, this auto self-calibration action is trying to uh, tell the agent uh, the relationship, uh, the translation relationship between the view, between the camera view and between the a uh, robot based uh, coordinate. So once the uh, agent is learned the uh, relationship, it can do the self action mapping learning, and uh, 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 and do the uh, reinforcement learning. Uh, how to uh, tell how to learn to make, move the PA to align with the PB, and uh, uh, to be mentioned, all the training process is in the simulation. is is in the simulator. And uh, we test our uh, policy in the uh, real uh, experiment. Uh, then we will talk about our uh, training process. So the whole training process in the, is in the simulation environment. 
uh, the blue point PB is the target point and the green point PA is the controllable point. The third yellow point is a random dot located on the given target alignment uh, vector edge. So uh, uh, the PB and the yellow point are said to be always in line and the, the training goal is try to move PA to align with the other two points. And to be mentioned, uh, our reward is said to be like this, uh, where D is the distance between the current controllable point and the, the target line. Uh, here are two tables uh, for our uh, experiment discussion. So for table one is the success rate for our uh, real test for four tests in six, 16 times. And uh, the table two is the comparison of our work with uh, other existed work. Uh, so what's outstanding us work is that uh, we weekly need the uh, eye hand calibration because our uh, we can do the auto self calibration action. Yes, and another point is that uh, we have high uh, efficient, economical efficiency. Yes, because we only rely on two rough RGB camera. Uh, here is the uh, video presentation. Uh, so as you can see, even though I, I moved the, uh, the point of the bolt head, for example, in the peak tasks, uh, the gripper will trace into the uh, bolt head and uh, uh, finish the peak tasks as long as the bolt head can be seen in the both camera view, in the two, two eye camera view, yes. And this is the demo for uh, insert and screw is uh, similar to the previous two tests. I move the uh, hole, uh, for example, in the insertion test, I move the pos position of the hole and the, uh, the gripper will grab the uh, bolt and uh, tracing the position of the hole. Okay, so that's all of my work. Thanks for your listening. Any questions for Mr. Uh. Currently for this work, um, uh, it's in, uh, we can realize the work uh, in a flattened, flattened uh, environment, yes. But if you like uh, in, you, you, lean the, you lean the gearbox, um, it can be realized. Can't, can't be, it can't be realized, yes. Any other questions? Uh, for example, uh, our our core is to like um uh, tell the robot how to align the uh the how to align the uh object with another object. But if you have only one camera, right? Uh, you cannot you cannot know what is alignment because only in two eyes you can realize the alignment. Uh, for example, in one single camera, you don't know what is alignment, right? Mm -hmm.